took metaphors literally. He has difficulty shifting attention to different modes of information. So if I'm doing something and then I have to stop that and go and do something else, that's really jarring for me because if I'm, whatever I'm doing, doesn't matter what it is, whatever I'm doing, when I'm doing it, I'm, I'm focused on it. And then f when I get pulled out from that focus to do something else that's a, like a big shift which it's like I'm, I've been pulled off of a train being pulled off of the tracks onto another track that's gonna be that's a big like it's, it's not it's just that's that's not just like a smooth transition for me especially if it if the other the, the second thing the other thing the new thing that I've got to do is the, I didn't see it coming out of the blue completely like where did that come from for me for me I, I you know Everyone else may may have seen it, that it, it might be a thing that was going to happen or come, um, but I, I I I I'm I'm fucking I live now I live now in this moment right now um, I I don't look forward to well I I just don't I just don't look forward to what's coming what what we're doing or what's going to happen what might happen. Um, because I'm just here right now. Um, so yeah, so that's a big something else. I have to I have to know it's coming. I have to to be to be able to to prepare myself for it, um, ready myself for it. Uh, I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Difficulty sustaining attention. So I can I can my attention. I just can't keep it on one thing. For, for a very, very long time. Tendency to mask comprehension difficulties through learning routines and preferred patterns of presentation. So I would say I've learned a lot of things from, like, I mimic other people, things I see on TV and films. I, I mimic stuff that I've seen and that, and that I, I assess to be suitable behaviours in society, gen, certain situations, whatever it might be that I'm watching or whatever. I, and, and, I, and I, so I, 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 I analyse these things and remember them. And then when I'm in that situation, I, I do that same thing. That's how, that's how I think I should navigate. That's how other people navigate those situations. So when I'm in that situation, I, I'll do that same thing. So I mimic and, and mask, masking is cover up my natural or yeah my natural sort of instincts to 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 be triggered or sensitive i have to i mask over that to cover it over so hopefully people can't see it and to just get me through it he had a significant delay in the development and application of theory of mind concepts which is the idea that others have individual thoughts feelings and beliefs and the concept that their behavior has an effect upon others. All I think about, all my brain naturally just thinks about me. It's so, so, um, it's narrow minded. I mean, it's just, I'm self centered. I don't know. Everything else comes after me. I, I struggle to see things from other people's perspective. I can only see things from my perspective. No, that's not true. I can see things from other people's perspective, but it's a, it, I have to work for that. My my default setting is to just think from my, just see things from my perspective. And what I feel and, and think affects me. It goes through me first and then everyone else is after me, you know? That just feels like the most natural and logical reasoning to me. And when I'm, because I'm so sensitive and, you know, have anxiety and struggle socially because of those things, I'm, I'm, I'm having to manage that. I never get to anyone else. I never get outside of myself because I'm still trying to, I'm just trying to manage myself. So to get to somebody else, I have to be completely fine, which is rare, or somebody else sparks that for me to then see. I feel like I waffled on a bit about that. I'm not sure I explained it well. I can't, um, so I've got, I've got feelings. I have big feelings, right? But also I can have completely zero feelings about things, anything that is, if, if it doesn't concern me, if it doesn't, if it's not happening to me, then it means nothing to me. It doesn't, I don't have any feelings about anything, really. I have thoughts and understanding and reasoning and morality around other people's things, but I have no feelings about it. Um, it doesn't affect me. 
because it's got nothing to do with me. It's not happening to me, so I would, so, so I don't feel. But if it was happening to me, I'd feel it. So because I can't feel those other people's predicament, what they're going through, I I, I can't empathise with it. I can't. I can't. Well, no, I can, but I, sh I, I not. I don't go there first. I, you know, I, I kind of got to pretend. I, I guess it's not natural for me to to, to empathise in that way. However, like for example, I was watching a video on YouTube and they had a dog, they've got a dog, and I, we were, I was watching it with my wife and I said, how old do you think the dog is? And she, and she goes, yeah, you know, it's, it's getting on. And uh, she knew what I meant and I knew what she meant with her response. And it was what I meant, which is that that dog won't last forever and that will be sad for them. Now I know that and, and, and I feel that empathy for them because we had a dog which passed away and that was really sad so so there i can i can empathize uh, like i i can if i if i've experienced it myself and i know what it feels like then i can i can empathize because i know what that's going to feel like and, and i know that will be horrible or if it's a good thing you know I, that I, I, you'll enjoy that i've done it or that'll be good but if i've got no reference frame of reference for myself it's like i just don't have any i don't have any it's not up here it's down here isn't it it's like feelings is your gut you know and um just yeah nothing nothing so i can i can um like my missus we'll watch telly film whatever and if a, an animal is going to get killed or her if she if she if she sees it coming you know she it won't just happen i mean she'll she'll see it coming and, and close her eyes not look she she doesn't want to look right and i get that because you know that's a horrible thing like she's got this no i don't want to see it uh i, I don't want to hear about it I, I can't have anything to do with it because it, it's emotionally triggering for her it's for me it's like it's, i know it's not real it's a film or whatever it, it, they're just telling a story it's not real so I don't, I don't i don't get it i don't get the same um i don't get the same uh, emotions i just don't get i just don't get it but if it were real i, I saw it um if i had if if i'd been watching a film and you know i'd become emotionally attached to the to the animal throughout the con the, the length of the film or whatever and then something happened i i would i would feel that because i've 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 formed that attachment then, but if it's just some random thing that you know, animal or whatever, and 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 it's not just about animals. It can be people, kids, whatever. You know, bad stuff happens. I get it, but it just means nothing to me because I I have no experience of it for myself. Um, thank thankfully. Um, yeah, that's weird. So yeah, that's odd.